Previously on Fallout New Vegas. Using the tactics and equipment of both the NCR and the Legion armies, the marked men were no simple foe to be quickly dispatched. It was through gritted teeth that Courier 6 pushed on. Ulysses had told the Courier that in order to pass through the Divide's wreckage, rubble would need to be cleared. Warheads littered the land and would need to be detonated to open the way forward. Once again, the shattered earth of the Divide would feel the kiss of atomic fire. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Lonesome Road. We're hanging out here on top of an old fire engine that's been impaled by a gigantic beam of metal. We're going to head down this road. We recently cleared it, shot off a humongous warhead that is... You know, they're actually, they're not as big as you would think. The explosion is, is not nearly as high. Maybe they, they're using all the low yield shit. Either way, we're heading down here. Gotta see what we can see. Uh, and the, uh, ironically named Hope Town, a place with no hope. And it was built on solid ground. Also, pretty ironic, considering, hey, it's a, it's a man-made earthquake, huh? Good lord. Is there anything worth going around and, like, peeking through all these things for? Maybe. Maybe it might be worth peeking around and poking around inside of all these little areas. That could definitely be the case. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Let's do it. Let's actually take a look. Yeah, let's let's keep poking around here instead of going ahead all the way. Oh shit, yo, like this. Oh man, what? Yo, do you see that? Good thing this fire doesn't hurt us. All right, here, if we come down, <gasps> look, a secret treasure trove! 11 rockets. What do we have? More rockets? First aid? Don't mind if I do. Got some stim packs. The interesting thing about the auto-injecting stim packs is that they actually have carry weight. Probably because of the sensor module that goes into creating them. Something along those lines. All right, anything else around here? On, um... On hardcore mode, I can't remember. I don't think stim packs have weight there either. I don't know. I know bullets do. I remember ammunition definitely had carry weight, but I can't remember if stim packs did. I think a lot of chems had carry weight. I don't. Did they? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. When I played through on uh, hardcore mode, that was back before I was really much of a chem user. Collapsed overpass tunnel entrance. All right. Oh Jesus! It looks horrific as shit. Okay. Anything else up and around here? I think also in between videos I did some inventory management, like I said. I believe I said I would. And even if I did not say that I would, I did it anyway. Look at me. Daring and dashing. Alright. See if we can't navigate through this shit again. Oh, look at this. Yeah, there must be something here. Check out all this shit. Look. <laughs> Go up in here. There's even some stairs for us. That somehow miraculously survived the uh, destruction. Alright. I mean, you know, hey, already, they they survived the atomic war, they they survived the uh, underground sort of eruptions, and the cutting wind, and all the, the warring between the NCR and all that shit, and they survived me, just now, detonating another nuclear warhead right up on their damn grill. Let's see. Look, is that a secret area up there? Is that something? Maybe. That might be something. Let's check this, though. What? A shoulder-mounted machine gun! It uses 10mm as well. Oh, this must be another case of, like, how, um... Remember back in Old World Blues, the dog guns? They used, um, 357, I think, and 44. All of the old revolver ones. Holy shit! Oh, that must be what the other mod is for, SMMG. Holy shaz butt! How does this thing look? Does this thing look as cool as I think? Oh, fuck, dude! Holy shit! Oh my god, we look badass as hell! Alright! Damn, dude! Look at this shit. Here, let's quick save and fire off some rounds. See, oh man, we don't have any, like, hollow points or whatever. It's quite slow. But, uh, that's A-OK. -okay. Man, it reloads real fast. Okay. 
Holy shit, should we try and, like, repair this thing up? Do you think there's, like, a unique version of it? I don't know. Man. I don't know. I have no damn clue. Here, let's make a mistake. If it is, we're going to put... I mean, yeah, unique versions you can't mod anyway. So we may as well put the mods on it. Let's see. Maximum condition. Weapon spread reduced. And magazine size. Nothing to make it shoot faster. Alright. All things in modernation. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Let's have some fun with this sucker. Holy shit. Look at this thing. Oh man, this is cool as hell. Look at that. It's got like the little padding there. Damn, dude. Man, I bet this is uncomfortable as hell to use though. Alright. We probably move extra slow with it, so let's stow it away while we're trying to continue our platforming adventure. Let's see, is that something down there? Doesn't seem that way, does it? Okay, can we... Oh, gosh, I cannot even jump. There's just an invisible wall. Okay. Is there something up there? Hmm. Maybe? Maybe not. Let's quick save here. What is that? Is that... No, that's not a tool chest or anything. Can we jump on top of this and get over here? Is there anything worth getting over here for, though? Perhaps that is the realest question of all. Huh, I don't know. Let's do it. Is this is this something over here? It looks like it's a whole lot of no- Oh, fuck, yeah, we've been over here! Oh, damn, let's quick load. Alright. Hmm. I want to try and get up that building, though, and see if that's possible. Like, can we somehow navigate up there from here? I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, we might be able to somehow. Oh, good God. Uh, uh. No, no, there's just an invisible wall in the way. It's impossible, or I'm too dumb to figure it out. Eddie, if only you could fly me there. Oh. Fly me to the moon, and let me get some woot loot. Let me see what <laughs> spring is like in Woot and Loot. <laughs> in other words, fly me there. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! Oh. <laughs> the, the ultimate curse for trying to sing, huh? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Anything over here? Just some assorted garbo? Looks like some assorted Garbo for Shuro. Eh, looks like a lot of nothing. Can we navigate up here and see if there's any little secrets? Secrets abound. No secrets at all. No secrets around here. This is the uh, same music from um, Dead Money, if I remember correctly. It's giving me a... Uh, the the sounds are are alive. They're, they're giving me some sort of ancient feeling stirring within my loins. Not true, not true. But it, it is definitely what was used in Dead Money. Alright. Likely this was Fallout 1 or 2 music, huh? Sounds like it, doesn't it? Alright. Let's see. Anything up here? No? Okay. Just a lot of nothing. Okay, well, we have been funneled into this one last area where, uh, it looks like there's gonna be trouble ahead. This person had a bad fucking day and there's some giblets nearby, probably don't belong to them, I don't know. Unless they got picked clean to the bone. Uh, 10 millimeter bottle caps, dirty water, MRE, empty syringe. Yoink. Oh, this is actually an area. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, alright, sure. Well, I guess we fully cleared this zone out, right? I think so. Now let's quick save. Keep out. I'm not keeping out, I'm keeping in. I'm going in. I got my big ass gun on my shoulder. I got a rocket lawn chair. Don't believe it. Grant actually went to Colonel Autumn and got approval for her damned efficiency guidelines. All experiments will be carried out with the test subject fully active to reduce iteration time. It's barbaric. I've explained this to the Colonel. Just because the iBots don't have true AI doesn't mean they're just machines. I guess results are all that matter around here. Forget things like ethical procedures or humane treatment. I'm starting to have serious misgivings about leadership around here. At least I've got you to talk to, huh, Eddie? <laughs> Whitley was really protective of his iBots, huh? I can't believe they'd approve that. I've met enough robots to know they're more than just machines. Let's press on. We've got a lot of ground to cover. 
Um, hmm. Yeah, let's give let's give Evil Eddie some nostalgia here. Talk about Whitley. Does our Eddie share these memories? I don't know. This might be only Evil Eddie's thing. Um, let's see. Big deal, you're a glorified computer. Why bother switching you off uh, to improve you? He sounds more like a father than an inventor in these logs. He must have tried to change things. He doesn't seem like the type to let that slide. That's f true enough. Uh, let's press on. We've got a lot of ground to cover. If you ask me, Whitley got too invested. It's just robot research, not having a kid. Um, yeah, he seems like the type to... He doesn't seem like the type to let that slide. Oh. Hmm. Um, jeez. Alright, let's be sympathetic. I can't believe they'd approve that. I've met enough robots to know they're more than just machines. Well, some of them. Some of them are, are just machines for damn sure. But other ones, eh. Ugh. What? <laughs> Jesus. I can see why you left that place, then. Hope those bastards got what was coming to them. Uh, sure. I hope, I hope they got what was coming to them. <laughs> eh. When does this take place in relation to Fallout 3? Is this after or before? Hmm. Maybe during. I don't know. Alright, I, I hope those bastards got what was coming to them. <laughs> Maybe not, then. Okay. Um. Well, I can see why you left that place. Let's press on! Okay. How much further do we have to go? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's a big boy. It's big boy season. Ooh, it sounds like a murloc. What the fuck? Where are we, man? Oh, dude. Okay. Well, I mean, it didn't seem like a, an enemy, did it? it? It didn't pop up as an enemy dude on the dude dar. Weird. Is it gonna be like a friendly death claw? Is this gonna be like a companion again? Like Evil Eddie? Friendly death claw and Evil Eddie? Together at last? What the hell is this? Oh, it's some kind of trap. Okay. Like, you know, uh, where you put the rigged shotgun inside of or whatever the hell? Anything up here? Looks like there might be. Whole bunch of lighting over here. What for, though? Huh. Can we duck down in here and get some treasure? No. Alright. Invisible, I think. Blocking everything over there. Fair enough. Alright. Let's be up here. Oh, sneak inside. What do we got? Tin can? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Pork and beans. Okay. Chair with a pillow on it. Oh, caravan crate. More pork and beans. Okay. Examine the poster. This must be a, um, a post-war caravan? Maybe. Okay. Ugh. Jump down here. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, Eddie's happy about us finding that shit. Okay. Makes sense. Let's see, anything else around here? Can we turn this off? No. Alright. Another one of those, uh... Oh, fuck! What the fuck is that? Oh, shit! Man, this feels like we're uncovering a new alien enemy in XCOM. Oh, shit, it ate this man's ass and legs. Uh-oh. They're evolving. Military shipping crate with some rockets. Yeah, I should probably use that, but... I'm gonna have some fun with this sucker. Alright, anything else back here? Just some radiation. Man, this is scary! I wouldn't want to be crawling underneath this. Like, in real life, if I were here, I'd be scared out of my fucking ass. I would just want to run through here and, like, not touch anything at all and be super careful, but also be very fast. Afraid that all this shit would just come crumbling down and just kill me instantly. Jeez, I'm Pete. Was this a guy? Oh, yeah. Dude with, had a nail gun. Oh, shit. This dude didn't get converted. Oh, probably because he was underground or something. Bravo Team Mission Orders. A flashbang. Huh. You found a flashbang grenade. Flashbangs are special grenades that deal fatigue damage, reduce enemy weapon skills, have a chance to frenzy tunnelers. Huh. Okay. Uh, we'll take the dog tag and another flashbang. I mean, who gives a shit? I'll just gun him down. Oh, did it kill the death claw? Oh, it ate its head right off. Ooh. 
That is disgusting. We're gonna take all these. They're pretty valuable. Uh, all this shit. Yeah, all this is worth taking except for the forceps. There we go. Good. Man, is that what that little dude was? A tunneler, I guess? Suppose so. Here, let's read about uh, this shit that we just picked up. Uh, data, miscellaneous. Here we go. Bravo Team Mission Orders. At 0600 hours, Bravo Team will conduct sweep and clear operations in advance of the main force. Early intelligence suggests the tunnels are only sparsely populated by small subterranean semi-humanoids, which are easily cowed by bright light and loud noises. Uh, Bravo Team has been issued flashbang grenades for this purpose and is expected to meet minimal resistance. Flashbang information. Yep, same thing we saw earlier. Okay. I mean, how tough can they be? I can just gun them down, right? Right? <laughs> Here, I better turn on my light now if they're afraid of it. Some ammo. Oh, more flashbangs. Okay. Oh, look. Some more NCR troopers. Also not converted. Dog tag. Their patrol armor. Oh, yeah. This must... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that's what the, uh, the marked men were wearing, except it was a little fucked up. All right, yeah, checks out. And this dude, um, dog tag, we'll take it. Bandolier armor, goggles helmet, nah. Okay. Anything else up here? Can't jump up there? Nope. Okay. Gotta go through this little crevice. Let's see. Oh shit, you can go home, courier. I don't know, dude. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> all right. Get it together, Evil Eddie. Come on, we gotta fuck him up in a major way. What we got going on here? Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Anything out in a? Oh God, Jesus! You scared me. Was it coming to fight? I'm fighting it. <laughs> it's easy. It's a hulking tunneler, in fact. Wow, they're they're. <laughs> Eddie, you don't gotta be afraid of these things. They're chumps. The marked men were way tougher. Look at, um... Ew, it looks disgusting as shit. Ugh. It's like some sort of, like, char lizard. Okay. Leather belt? Tunneler hide. I guess we'll take a tunneler hide. Ugh, look at that. Ugh. They look almost like the cauliflower men where their limbs are broken off. Okay, probably a coincidence, though. Oh, God! That scared me. <laughs> Man, what was that uh, Death Claw doing to that person's butt? Huh. I don't know about that. Alright, what do we got up in here? All these are smashed. Oh, not that one. Some ammo. Maybe they smashed the ones with food inside to eat it. Eh, missiles, we can turn that into uh, more rockets if we need to. Actually, here, Eddie, where'd you go? Oh, shit, where'd you go, Eddie? Eddie, where'd you go? I lost you! I need you to fix up my big fucking gun! There you are. Let's see. Um, talk to... There we go. And can you repair my weapon? There we go. Cool! Ah, oh, fully repaired, too. Excellent. Let's see. Let's get some more use out of this fun gun before we swap back to grenades. Oh, shit! Rise and shine, motherfucker, you venomous ass! Oh, shit, these ones are kinda tough. Whoa! They're coming from behind and everything! Woo! <laughs> Eat hot lead, you sack of shit! Mm. Alright. Yeah, not too bad. Not even using one of our good guns. Alright. What else have we got? Anything in here? Nah. That really is just empty as shit. Let's see. Maybe we'll take three of their hides. You know, rule of threes. Ah, cave fungus. I guess we'll take that. Those are pretty valuable. Let's see. Can we get over here? Oh, yeah, we can. Let's stash that. Here, now let's actually swap to our grenades. Uh, let's see. Plasma grenades. Oh, we should use frags. There we go. Oh, no, wait. Those are MF cell grenades. Whoops. There we go. Fragmentation grenade. Or just frag grenade, it says. All right. And... Oh, shit. A hard lock. go. Oh, yo! Huh, I guess we'll take these. These are pretty valuable. 
Beer, too, we can just have a slurp. Yeah, we'll just take everything in there. Let's have a slurp of beer right now, why not? Take the edge off. Okay. Quick save. Anything else worthwhile over here? Oh yeah, there's a few boxes. Boxes? We don't need no stinking boxes! Take some lead, powder, all this shit. Sensor module, we got enough. There we go. Uh, that's empty. Oh, we can't actually, uh, loot- Oh, nope. Parts cabinet! Ah! Dope! Cool. Alright, can we navigate on top of this again? And get back to those, uh... Reaches back there? Huh? There we go. Is there actually anything back here worth looking at? No, it seems like there's absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> Still, good to be thorough, I think. And down there is the first, uh... Uh, butt that we went inside of, right? Oh, is this, is this gonna take us somewhere? Hold up. Does this go somewhere? Oh, we can't quite... Oh, no, we can. Okay. Does this go somewhere? Oh, where are we? Let's jump on this. Oh, this is the, the one with the dude inside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, nothing. Oh, no, wait. Hold up. Where the fuck are we? Are we on top of something exciting? There's the dead dudes over there. Huh? Get on top- Oh! Nope! Nope! Alright, I don't think that went anywhere anyhow. Okay. Oh, we're backtracking. Alright, this is the uh, main area with the uh, tunnel dude. Here, let's check out this shit. I uh, got some MRE right away, scrap metal turbo. Just everything worthwhile. Okay. Another dead person. A lot of dead folks down here. Okay, and we went inside of that. All right, let's come on over here. Where is this asshole? We got any more of them? Eddie, is that one of their little holes that they crawl out of? Maybe. Huh. Good lord. I feel like I'm, I'm not very scared right now. Oh, shit. Eddie, you're scarier than the creatures with your horrific noise. Good god, man. Get it together, Eddie. Look at this. It's a blinky light. It doesn't blink there, but over here. Oh, man. It's because uh, <laughs> of how weird uh, New Vegas' lighting, or lack thereof, works. Oh. What's that noise, though? Very strange. Oh, yeah, it was Camp Searchlight. Yo, these are from Searchlight? Huh. I wonder if that's meant to be, or if that's just a coincidence from them reusing the model. All right. It'll take all this. Take all those. Just a bunch of ammo over here in this little trench corner. Okay. Uh, quick save here. Get ready to have a showdown. Sounds like. Cooking the grenade. Do we need to toss something down in there? No? Alright. <laughs> well, what the hell do I do now? I just have a grenade out here cooked. Cooked and cocked. Oh shit, where are we? Oh god, what is this over here? Is this an area we've been to? I don't think so. Sounds like something's around here. Did we not pick him up on the dude dar? Is this gonna be a problem? Shit. Eddie, fire in the hole! There we go. Flamer fuel. Okay. MREs. Very well. Alright, now here is... We've been over there, yeah. It's just back here is some bonus woot loots. We're looking, we can stare out into the, uh, the nothingness that is the skybox. Alright. Anything else? Anything, anything, I don't see. Okay. Let's pop on up this rubble. We should look down and around here, because apparently we haven't been down this sort of, uh... Oh, yeah, check all this shit out. Yo, this is a sass truck. Mmm, getting sassy. Yeah, look at all this sass. Sass, sass, sass. Prime it for my ass. Oh, shit, this dude was getting sassed in here. Building mass. Alright. Two of them. That's it. The rest are all empty. What a way to go. Oh, shit, look, is this a secret again? Can we jump up this? We can, but it's definitely not a place we're meant to be. Oh, look at that. 
Huh, maybe it is? No. No, I don't think so. Maybe you, that's a way you can backtrack more easily. Oh, what the hell? Look at all this weird shit. There's just some floating loot loots. Oh, God. Getting a little stuck. Jesus Christ. Don't let anybody say I wasn't thorough. Probably still miss something fantastic, like a Ralphie poster. Or some sort of log from Ulysses. Alright, there's the safe that we were at earlier. Okay, I think all we need to do is just grab these things here. In fact, maybe I don't want these? Nah, no, I'll take them. Why not? Alright. Now my question is, are a lot of these cars gonna... Are they still... Oh, shit. Are they still primed to explode? I don't know. We're just taking buff out now. Like some sort of lunatic. Instead of, uh... Drinking alcohol, we're just taking some roids. Alright. Let's quick save again. Should we go up there or should we go on top of this? Let's go on top. Let's see. Hello? Any of you little freaky dudes around? Oh, I hear one. Whoa! Jesus, Eddie, you're scaring me big time. Don't worry, I'm throwing bombs! They're too fast. They don't want to fuck- oh shit. There we go. Here, let's just throw a few over there. Ew, look at them. They really do look like some kind of fucking alien. Maybe they think the same of me. With my red, uh, glowing eyes. Look like evil Emperor Zerg. I don't even know what the hell I'm throwing them at. What's it, what's it doing? It's like colliding with the ground. <laughs> oh man, that hurt me. Alright. Hurt by my own damn bombs. It's messed up, dude. Alright. Anything else over here? Yeah, that was a little secret trench. Oh yeah, and this is the one we went up real close and we were looking at it. I guess we'll take another tunneler hide. Why not? Make it five. Well, it's four right now. But we'll build up to five. Or how much are they worth? Maybe they're pretty valuable. Here, let's heal up. We have a doctor's bag. There we go. Let's drink some, uh, some booze or some drinks, I should say. Got some sass in here. There we go. Great. Alright, there's a few, uh, up and over the horizon. Was that one of them? Oh, yep, there they are. Hello! Alright. Just toss a few over here. Uh. Oh, fuck! Alright. Are they, like, shooting shit at me? Like lasers or something? Or is that Eddie? Oh, fuck, yo, there's a lot here. I don't know where they all are, but there's a lot just here. Ooh! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Whoa! They're like stunning! Oh God! Whoa! Careful, Eddie! These dudes aren't fucking around. They're hulking. Uh, uh, take some of that shit. All right, man. Look at them all. Man, this is a great opportunity for us to use a clusterfuck. All right, where's my clusterfucker? Here we go. Oh man, we're almost out. We might need to see if we can make any more. Careful, Eddie! Fire in the hole! Boom! <laughs> oh, man, those are the fucking best weapon in the game, maybe? I don't know, but they feel fucking awesome to use. Teddy bear, tumbler hide, there we go. Oh, shit, I didn't even check how much they're worth. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, they're not worth that much. The cave fungus is worth more. Empty syringe. What are these things? Did they used to be people? Or some sort of, like, uh, mole. Yeah, maybe some sort of, like, mole men. Oh, God. The mole men. Fucking... One of the worst Marvel villains of all time. Or best worst, you could say. The mole man. And his mole people. Oh, God, I used to remember what they were all called. They were called, like, moloids, mongoloids, something like that. All right. Have we fully searched everything? I feel like I'm I'm being too quick here. After the chase. So yeah, we jumped up there. Uh, back there is a little trench. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just gotta be thorough here. Yep, and we've been in there. Up here. May as well have a look around. Oh, I think we're already at the end of the tunnel? Huh, maybe. Alright. Let's see, can we pop on top of this? 
Give it a quick search. Anything here worth searching for? MREs. I'll take them. All right. Huh. Anything in this toolbox? Scrap metal. We'll take that. Can use it for lead. This. Not openable. How about this? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, here we go. More MREs. Man, we're getting so many. All right. Here we go. Pop over here. What's this? A uh, duffel bag. All right. Med X. We'll take everything except for the pitcher. We do not need a pitcher. Oh, yeah, here. This is what I was talking about earlier, where it loops around and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, can we get back into there? No, an invisible wall. All right. I would almost say it's worth trying to jump on there, but I don't think it's possible to make that jump. It's not like we have some sort of Mario jumping ability. Okay. Man, yeah, look at this. This looks real scary and dangerous. If I saw this in real life, no fucking way it'd go anywhere near this thing just protruding out like that. Good God. That is terrifying as hell. I mean, then again, I wouldn't also- I also would not fight these things. If I saw one of these in real life, I would definitely shit my pants and just get killed instantly. <laughs> Good lord. Alright. Let's see, anything else up and around here? But then again, if in real life I could actually take hits from them and just, like, eat food to, like, heal myself after fighting them, then maybe I'd be more brave. Maybe I'd be more brave if the rest of the mechanics of the game proved true. Yo, we're, like, at the skybox. Look at that! <laughs> okay. Let's see. Doctor's bags, medex, and yeah, we'll just take all. Metal box full of scrap metal, stim pack, super stim pack. The rest will leave. Okay. Anything else up and around here? Invisible wall. Yeah, the one thing I don't like about this tunnel area is that there's a shitload of invisible walls. Which is kind of unfortunate for an area that, at least beforehand, really encouraged us to do a lot of exploring. And this one does too. Make no mistake, there, there's definitely some stuff hidden around here in nooks and crannies. But, uh... It's just kind of a pain to do it, compared to the other ones, where it was, like, clear what areas you've been to. It's not as easy to get, like, mixed up with which ones you've been at, because landmarking was better. And, of course, like I said, the invisible walls suck a big butt. Alright. Anything else up around here? Oh, this is, yeah, this is the end. Alright. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Good. Alright, let's make sure we've cleared out everything. These were the ones we looted earlier, right? Yeah. Okay, can, and we can't get up there. Invisible wall. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else? I'm surprised there wasn't like a... Was there a Ralphie poster or a log down here? I can't recall. I don't know. There was that uh, loot box full of the missive from the uh, NCR. Oh, we might get something good right here. Let's see. Jet, purified water... Turpentine, eh, we'll leave the rest. Oh shit, we're getting weighed down. Let's take a slurp of... Do we have vodka? Yeah. We got plenty of whiskey, though. Teddy bear, toolbox full of nails. Whiskey again. Wine, we'll take it. Drinking whiskey and wine. A flare gun again. I guess we can repair ours up. Alright. Dead-ass person having a read. Trying to hang out back here. Ooh, I wonder if they were NCR. This looks like something built by the NCR. Huh. And their bones were just picked clean. By these beasts. Alright. Where is my flare gun? There it is. Oh, look. Euclid Sea Finder. Huh. wonder how that works out. Alright, let's quick save. Let's see. Anything else up and around here? I don't think so. I think that's a full clear of this little area. I think so. Sam, this is... Yep, alright. Once again, reiterating on the uh, American flag there, huh? Let's see. Anything... Did we fully check around these radioactive barrels? Not too sure. I know we looked around the periphery of this area, but I don't know if we actually looked, like, sort of right down the center. Okay, yeah, and there's the duffel bag we saw earlier with the overturned lantern. All right, yeah, I think that's everything. Pretty sure we got everything. Good shit. Okay, let's swap to the uh, red glare here. The high road. Ooh, are we actually going to be on an interstate? I've, I mentioned this a while, while back, but I really love, um, yeah. There you are. 
Oh. He went quiet for a time. Knew killing Bear wouldn't prove easy. You and your machine, you survived. There's a lesson here in the Divide. Old world history about paving and intentions could teach the Republic a thing or two, if they listened. They have an idea of trying to do what's right, never quite getting there. Maybe you've seen it, Nipton, elsewhere. Uh, you've got a better way? Let's see, at least they're trying to help the Mojave. I'm not interested in your politics. Um... I don't know, I am interested in his politics, but I'm not siding with the NCR, so that... This feels kind of shallow to me. Um, well, at least they're trying to help the, the Mojave. Trying doesn't hold much weight with me. Legion doesn't try to kill people. They do it. The bear kills people trying to protect them. Irony is sharp, and Legion, their flag may be old, but it's not at war with itself. No matter now, Bear couldn't hold the divide. You and that machine are all that remains of NCR here. Rest fell to radiation, fire, and what burrows below. Hmm. His argument in favor of the Legion there, of saying, hey, well, at least the Legion isn't tearing itself apart, but they're inflicting terrible horrors upon, like, wherever they go. They, like, either enslave people or completely, like, indoctrinate them, essentially, into their culture. They, they either, like, if you don't join, you die. I don't know. It seems like a kind of a shitty argument. I don't know. Let's see. What, what burrows below? You mean those creatures in the underpass? And maybe maybe it's meant to be a shitty argument. Maybe he's supposed to uh, be flawed in that way, now that I think of it. Uh, what burrows below? You mean those creatures in the underpass? Those marked men in Hopeville? Some had strange masks and blades I'd never seen before. Those soldiers in Hopeville, in Hopeville were once NCR. I'm sure of it. Why were they with the Legion? I found some recordings from you in Hopeville. If this is the high road... Where does it lead? I'm not interested in talking. I only want to know where where to head next. Um, here, let's talk about the marked men in Hopeville. Uh, some had strange masks and blades I'd never seen before. They bear false versions of Legat the Muse's masks. Ah. The one Kaisar fashioned for him. Thought it was an insult at first. No better now. It's shaped from divine metal. Not with care and strength. But with hate, keeps them anchored. Crude, effective, like the blades they carry. Distant mirrors of their legate, a symbol they can hold on to, while the divide tears at them. Huh. Okay. Eh, well, we may as well do the NCR check. I wonder what what it would have done if we uh, had, um, like, independent. Huh. Uh, th those soldiers in Hopeville were once NCR. I'm, I'm sure of it. Why were they with the Legion? You see, true. Not scavengers. It's what they wore. Before this all happened. Pain makes for strange allies. The hate of the bear and bull shared across the battlefield. Now turned against the divide. Few survived. Intact. Many NCR were already here when the destruction happened, keeping the route east open in fear of Kaisar, fear of the Legion. NCR would have needed this supply line open to reinforce the Mojave and Hoover Dam. Why did NCR want to keep the route open? This place was important to the Legion? I mean, it makes sense that, that the NCR would would have interest here, right? As a, yeah. Like right here, yeah, NCR would have needed the supply line, uh, open to reinforce the Mojave and Hoover Dam. But what about the Legion? The why of it? Hoover Dam. The bear, NCR, couldn't be allowed to reach it easily. Long 15, Cayman, both bad enough. Ah. Uh. Kimbo, Kaiser, House. You'd think that our world was that wall, cutting the Colorado. If I'd never laid eyes on it, never spoke of it. But once found, it was all Kaisar could see. That, and the flag beyond it, another symbol. Big enough 
to challenge him and the divide one of the roads to it legion was tasked with cutting that artery if you can't kill the bear in one stroke bleed it starve it that kind of murder it's what any of the legion would have done now the divide belongs to history hmm yeah i really wonder what he would say here because he he singles out even house which is rare for uh most of the factions because most of the factions just see house as like a strange uh eccentric or like uh like an oddity like when you ask the uh the legion or ncr about him he's he's more of like an obstacle they don't really consider him in the in the war but fucking uh this dude ulysses totally does hmm yeah, I really wonder what, what would happen if I came here and, he, and Independent was available. Anyway, anyway, what were the creatures in the underpass? Tunnelers. Predators that make their own roads beneath the ground here. Divide broke their sky, showed them the world above, and the scent of new prey. Be a slower death for the Mojave than bombs and fire, but they'll come before its people, from where they least expect. Hello. Oh shit. Science 65, we won't do this, but radiation from the war might have created them. Then detonations, quakes, cause them to surface. Survival 35, we can do this. When you say slower death for the Mojave, you mean they're spreading out from the divide. I've never seen creatures like that before now. Uh, let's do this survival 35. Death will come from below. In the divide, need to watch the sky and ground. Mojave will be easy prey for them. They'll start emerging throughout the Mojave in time. Might be years, probably less. Huh. They breed fast, hunting groups, more than enough to bring down the strongest in the Mojave once they draw blood. Seen them tear apart Deathclaws. Deathclaw might get some. But the rest will swarm it, tear it apart, like Denver Hounds. Denver Hounds? Uh, Denver's far to the east. Legion territory. Ooh, I like that. Huh. Man, this this line here makes it sound like um the writing was set up here. Um, like they were planning ahead in the event that they ever did a uh, a New Vegas 2, or not even New Vegas, but another thing... Another Fallout game, either in the Mojave or around the Mojave, right? And they would be like a future enemy or something, as well. Or maybe after we do this DLC, we'll start to see some appear? Nah. Nah, th it's never done that before. Alright, uh, Denver Hounds. Denver's far to the east. Legion's territory. Mojave and the Divide are the only places I've walked. Walk the east, too, before the bull came. Then... Much like Mojave before the bear. Tribes, towns, clutching to life. Bull did a better job. Hmm. I found some recordings from you in Hopeville. The tapes? <laughs> Didn't think those would be found. You know the divide better than I thought. Had tech from the big MT. Recorder a woman gave me. Didn't survive the road. On its last legs. Cast it and the tapes aside. Weren't worth the words anyway. Not like I'd forget what happened. If you heard them, nothing but ramblings, reminders for a man who doesn't need them. Probably more lying from here to the divide. Oh shit. Man, we failed this speech check by just a little bit. So, what? They weren't that important, then. If this is the high road... Oh, here. Let's just speech check and fail it. Words lost to history. Wouldn't have left them on the road otherwise. If this is the high road, where does it lead? At the end of the high road lies Ashton. It's Silo. That machine I'm with you. It can open it. Wake it up. Like it did the one in Hopeville. Huh. You have a lot of hate for the robot with me. 
I can hear it in your voice. Hate? No. There's nothing to hate in metal, steel, gold, or platinum. You're a machine. It's just a tool made of wreckage of the divide. All oh, that was brought here. Hmm. When we first spoke in Hopeville, you mentioned you'd sworn to... sworn not to kill me. Why? Uh, this road leads nowhere. There's nothing in the Divide. I've never been here before, at least not from this road. Let's see, when, when we first spoke in Hopeville, you mentioned you'd sworn not to kill me. Why? You know the why of it. If you don't, I do. And that's enough. Joe's trust only walks so far west. Earned more than that, though. Getting this far. We walk the same road. Carry the same colors. Can't break that by making the road red. Want more than that? Walk the divide. Answers will come. Closer you get to home. You and that machine. Uh, this, road's le this road leads nowhere. There's nothing in the divide. Um, I feel like these both get us to the same end. I've never been here before, at least not from this road. Many in the Mojave think the divide's nothing but canyon and storm. Wasn't always. There was life. A town farther west. Not talking about an old world town like Hopeville. More recent. Something you saw in your lifetime. It had the name, the divide, too. But rather than cracks in the earth, it was a road from the west into the Mojave, a supply line. To huh. a courier to make that road. You. Back then, you saw the road with eyes facing east. This time, the divide's in the other direction. And if your eyes try to make sense of it when you reach it, home's not what it was. Okay. What makes you think this le- So I built the town? Courier 6 built up the- the divide or whatever? Hmm. Okay, what- what makes you think this leads- maybe we're like business partners or something? I don't know. Uh, what makes you think this leads home? So you're saying I walk this road once from another direction, from west to east, to home. You keep saying that as if I- as if you know where I was born. You don't. Um, hmm. What makes you think this leads home? Hmm. So you're saying I walk this road once from another direction, from west to east, to home. Uh, let's just start here from the top. Maybe we'll be able to get all of these done. Uh, what makes you think this leads home? All roads lead back to one's home. Not your birthplace, maybe. But home. Home isn't where you were born into this world. You taught me that. Part of your message, whether you meant it or not, can huh. be a place of mind, a moment where you know who you are, the history of it, and they can be places you breathe life into. Never would have known the divide had it not been for you. The road you made with your tracks again and again. You were the only one willing to make the journey to and from here. A hard road. Kept the land before the divide alive through seasons, storms. Oh, he means through deliveries, Can't like he was touching on before. Just a job. Was something more to you? Don't feel for place that hard unless it's home. Huh. Oh. Uncovered all six. Oh shit! Too fast again. But we got two out of six. Okay. Hmm. I've walked a... I, I'm guessing he means not that we brought it to life and that we built it up, but that we kept uh, deli making deliveries back and forth from it, which ended up building it up. Right? I'd guess so. Because that, that's, that's what he was touching on before, in how, like, a courier can bring something to life, and this is probably tying into that. Anyway, I've walked a lot of hard roads, Mojave and before. 
It doesn't mean anything. You're crazy. Your head's messed up worse than the Divide. Whatever you believe happened, happened you have it wrong. Um, hmm. I've walked a lot of hard roads, Mojave, and before. It doesn't mean anything. It means everything. Even if you deny it, cast it aside. That speaks to what you are. Proves what happened here. It was you walking that road that kept the divide alive. It grew from what you did. Settlers, camps, filling that old world city. Chance for a new mission, new beginning, new way of thinking. Could have breathed new life into the Mojave, bridging east, west, like Hoover Dam. But not old world. Something you made. Road was a supply line. Fuck. God. Because that's exactly the fu the whole fucking argument behind the um the independent ending, right? Is that you're rejecting all... Every single old world ideal. Caesar's old world ideal, NCR's houses, all of them are based around like old world ideals. But independent, the whole the whole beautiful thing is that something that you create that's ideally new and a little bit different to better fit uh, the Mojave wasteland in the new world, the the post war world. Oh God, I really wonder what he would say if we uh, if we were independent. I don't know, or maybe he just always says this. Oh, fuck. I don't know. All right, uh, you're still making assumptions about all this. There's no other supply line to the Mojave beyond the Long 15. Maybe you should tell me what happened. Yeah, I like the idea of going in this, um, being open to, uh, what he's saying, right? Yeah, maybe, because after all, the whole, the whole genius behind starting the game with being shot in the head is that you don't have to know a backstory, but apparently, like, this DLC is going into your backstory as Courier 6, right? Uh, maybe, maybe you should tell me what happened. NCR saw the worth in that road you made. Staked a claim, whether it was wanted there or not. True elsewhere in the Mojave. Uh. And where the bear tries to cling to life, the Legion comes, bearing messages. Some brought by Blade. Others, by couriers. You knew what was coming, as sure as I know what's coming for you. This time you carry the burden. Walk west into the sun, and keep walking until it dies. There, I'll be waiting. Huh. Holy shit. Our hope for our children. <laughs> Okay, is there anything back around back here? Can we go back further a little bit? No. Alright, there's just an invisible wall. Man, we are irradiated. Alright, well holy shit, when next we come back, we will, uh, walk out this way. Man, pretty fitting that... Oh no, because this is pointed, uh, eastward, huh? Yeah, if it's 7 a.m. Yeah, okay. Weird. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Until it dies. What did, what did he just say? Maybe I misheard him. Anyway, when next we come back, we're going to continue walking uh, on this lonesome road. Whoa! Uh, hopefully we'll find all sorts of fun woot loots like this. Uh, like all this. Uh, perfect. <laughs> all right. Yeah. When next we come back, we're going to continue on here. Uh, blasting some fools, picking up woot loots, looking for secret treasures, all sorts of fun stuff. Till next time. Peace. Peace.